Today we're going to be testing another trading view indicator, the GRMMA. We're going to be back testing it using code to see whether it is really good as it seems. But before I go any further, guys, the crypto world is dumping at the moment. Do you have any thoughts on that? I'd love to know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. And don't forget, every Friday today, I'm going to be giving away a, to a random comment 100 USDT. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. Hey traders, I hope you're going extremely well. My name is David and welcome back to my channel where I go through trading strategies. Today we're going to be looking at the GOMMA, the TDFI and the LaRue SRSI. I'm going to be building a trading strategy using the NNFX methodology, which is a rules based system. We only use indicators to take our entries. We use software like TradingView to back test and give our back testing results. And then we forward test them before take any trading strategies live. All of the trading strategies use indicators. Like I said earlier, I'm going to be using the three or four indicators. We need an indicator for trend direction, a couple of confluence, confluence indicators, and an indicator for volatility and volume and then we need an indicator for our entries and exits as well i know that might sound a little bit complicated but it is very very easy when it's all put on a chart and thanks to david tech boilerplate you can add all of this to trading view with a click of a button and connect it all to bots and everything will trade magically as if it was something made by houdini himself so without further ado, let's get over to my screen. Let's have a look at that trading strategy. But before I go any further, if that sounds like something you'd like, if you don't mind just giving me a big old thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I do a video every Monday and every Friday and I'm trying to do some live streams on Wednesdays as well. Okay, let's get over to my screen. Okay, here I am on my screen on a trading view on BTC USDT on the one hour time frame. I'm going to be adding the indicators. So we're going to be adding a couple of indicators. We're going to be looking at the GOMMA, which is this one here, the geometric move, mean moving average. Let's add that to our chart. We're then going to be adding the TDFI. Now this is the version two that we're going to be using this one here. And the final one is the Laguerre RSI, which is this one just here. Now I'm going to very, very quickly make everything a bit thicker so we can see on YouTube and it's going to fast forward. Boom. So, right, okay, we have our indicators now on the chart. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change some of the settings and we're going to go through this trading strategy. As I said earlier, we're based on the NNFX, which means we have a indicator for trend direction. We have our confluences. We have this one here, which is for volatility and volume. This one here is our confirmation indicator. And then we have, we'll have another indicator in a moment for stop losses and take profit. Okay, so we're gonna set up the settings now. I'm gonna press on the little cog here on the GOMMA. We're gonna set this one to 20, just like this. As you can see, the yellow line hugs it quite well. So when we're below the yellow line, we're gonna be looking for shorts. When we're looking above the line, we're actually looking for longs. Now, this is the first time I've actually used this indicator. It was suggested by the NNFX website. But as you can see, there's lots of areas where it actually does kind of make losses. That is why we add as many, well, more indicators for uh, confluence. Because these areas here, we would have lost money. And we obviously don't want to be doing that. So I'm going to be moving up the La, uh, Laguerre RSI here as we're going to be using this for confluence. Now, what we're going to be looking for is we're going to be looking for the Laguerre to come up and cross over this oversold section here for our longs. And when we're looking for shorts, we actually look for a crossover of our overbought area up here. This is where we are going to be accumulating and this is where we're going to be distributing and shorting the market. So this is going to help us to remove some of those areas. This is going to help us remove some of those extra entries, for instance. Here we would have entered a couple of times. There was no need for all those entries. We only need to really enter on this candle just here, which would have been an absolute perfect entry. Going down to, to the TDFI, we're going to be using this very much is default settings. The only thing that I'm going to be changing is the MMA mode here. 
We're going to be changing that to VWMA. That actually seems to be much, much better in my backtesting results, uh, as far as I can see. For longs, we're looking for it to be in a green, sort of green line here instead of a white or red. And for shorts, we're going to be looking for it to cross over into the red. So our first entry will be here. As you can see, it would have been an absolutely perfect entry for that long. Now, to take profits and stop loss, we're going to add another indicator. It's going to be the ATR bands by David Tech, just here, just this one here. And we're going to set these up using it as a 2.5, and the rest is going to be set as default. So we're going to set our stop loss, which we would have got in the candle afterwards up here. We're going to set our stop loss to the ATR bands, just like that there. And we're looking for a one to two risk to reward. Now, for the first time in absolute ages, I will be using multiple take profits in this trading strategy. Uh, the reason being is, is that I feel as though this setup is not one of my favorites. And uh, maybe it would be a good idea to take multiple take profits. I kept away from it for a long time, but incubate.trade, which is a platform where we have all of the trading strategies in the back tests here, as you can see. And we've had quite a few users submitting multiple take profits here and it actually seems to be working quite well and you always have to be very careful inside of trading view on the back testing results i will talk about that again later but when using multiple take profits it actually gives you more entries than you should actually uh, enter so I'll, I'll talk about it afterwards when we have the back testing results it makes things a little bit easier so that is our entry long for a short as i said earlier we have to come back below the band here this yellow band here we want to be breaking across the rsi just like this one here and we'd like to be in the red area here this entry was not validated let's move along to some other entries to see if we can some, find something that would be validated Okay, we have a short just here as we've come below the line on this candle here. We've come underneath the uh, 75. We have a validated red candle sort of line here on the TDFI. We have a validated short here. You can see that we've closed below the yellow line. The open is here, the close is here, the low is there. We have our entry which will be on the following candle here just like this here. We're going to be putting the stop loss on the ATR of the candle, just like this here. Perfect. Okay. And then we're going to be uh, doing a two to, uh, one to two risk to reward. So that one would have actually been in the first candle. Perfect. As I said, we might use multiple take profits. I'm going to backtest everything now. Uh, so I'm going to go away and now code this so that we can backtest it using trading view. And I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Right. Come on, David. And once again, he's got to code a new strategy. He'll be back in just five minutes. Come on, David. Show us. Show us what you got. Guys, just before we go any further, a huge shout out to Bybit. We've negotiated lower trading fees, which is a huge edge on the market having lower trading fees. Uh, for anybody that uses the link down in the description below, you also get huge deposit bonuses. So if you deposit uh, funds onto Bybit using the link below, you will get free trading funds, which is absolutely brilliant as well. Thank you once again to Bybit for all of the support they give to us as a community. Right, here we are on the coded version of this trading strategy. Now, I'll tell you off the plate, this is definitely, definitely not my favorite trading strategy, but I'm sure that the, the elite back testers of our group will do a much better job at finding settings than I have here. Uh, I've done this quite fast as I've been in a two hour stream with everybody today. And uh, yeah, so it's uh, probably not the absolute best that you can get. As you can see, I've been using multiple take profits. We actually get our entry on the next candle, not the one that I said on the video. This candle here, we have one, two, three take profits. This one here actually made it up to the second uh, second stop, uh, take profits just here. And then hit the uh, hit the actual stop loss, which was the entry because it moved to break even. 
as you can see on the back testing results most of the months are in green we do have maybe it'd be best not to trade in july and august with this trading strategy there is a one-off month occasionally where we're actually in a loss uh, let's have a look at some of the back testing results as you can see here we have 358 trades you do have to be careful as i said this is multiple take profits each entry is actually considered an entry here so you have to be very very careful on that same goes for the win rate 74 percent which is great almost 75 percent win rate profit factor is 1.55 we have a drawdown max drawdown of 24 percent which is acceptable uh, but as we are using leverage uh, we have trading strategies here that are much less than that so as i said this definitely is not one of my favorite trading strategies uh, but i might be proved wrong in the future after we've put it through the incubation period we have 414 percent gain on our account which if we were to buy to hold we would have had 13 percent which we absolutely smashed as always max wins in a rows were 16 max losses in a rows was uh, and I think that's pretty much all of the information we get from here, which is absolutely brilliant. We're currently in a trade and the leverage is set to 3x. Okay. Okay, guys, I whizzed through that one. I hope you enjoyed it. Still, it, it was a trading strategy that I found a bit hard to get what I wanted out of it. I hope it isn't overfitted, but I will put it in the incubate.trade uh, platform to see whether it works out in the future. It's the only way of actually doing it. What it does is it's a bit like a trading journal. It uh, tests it live on live markets uh, to make sure it's actually working. And you can get access to all of this and my trading strategies. The links to Patreon are down below where you can actually get uh, access to Discord. You get ways to automatically trade between TradingView and Bybit and a load of other platforms. I look forward to meeting you. But before I go any further, I have 100 USDT to give away for a random comment. So let's go back over to my YouTube channel. Okay, here we are on one of my videos i'm gonna randomly give away 100 usdt to a user here levy congratulations to you you just won 100 usdt don't forget to reach out to me on discord or vlad without further ado guys i'm wishing you a great weekend keep safe keep coding and trade like a boss have a great weekend and i'll see you on monday goodbye come on david and once again he's gone to call a new strategy He'll be back in just five minutes, RSI and MACD.